welcome to Marriott MBA Today. I'm your host, Cassandra Wilson, and as a nice surprise, I'm joined by the whole Ingebrigtsen family. So Ashley, why don't you tell us a little bit about our two extra guests. These are our children, Kate, who is three, and Jacob, who is almost one year old. Great. Um, we also are joined by Stein Ingebrigtsen, who's a second year MBA student, and he's in the supply chain track and had a really interesting path to get into the MBA program. So what were you doing originally, Stein? My first career goal was to be a commercial helicopter pilot. Um, I'd always been fascinated by helicopters and decided I wanted to fly for a living. So I went to flight school and uh, got my flight, uh, got my license and got all my certifications and uh, had just started into my first job as a commercial pilot. Great. And, and then I know things were going really well, but I think it was you were skiing and what happened? <coughs> Excuse me. I was skiing and uh, felt a little extra tired, felt a little off, hmm. uh, just didn't seem quite right. Um, came home and that actually, that feeling lasted for a week or two. Yeah. And um, Ashley is uh, a nurse and she worked in the cardiac intensive care unit. And so she said, uh, hmm. it's probably nothing, but why don't you go get checked out just yeah. to be safe. So I did and found out that I had a failing aortic valve. Okay. And I was going to need to get it replaced uh, with open heart surgery. Yeah. So what was your reaction to that? Did he tell you about that on the phone or? Well, we actually, um, you know, had interesting experiences um, getting emergently <coughs> admitted to the hospital. And um, I was um, due to have Kate in three days. And so there was a, a short time where we thought that I would have to get induced so that Stein would be able to be present at the delivery of our firstborn and then um, him have open heart surgery. But luckily uh, it turned out um, that it wasn't as bad as we ha were expecting. And so the, our surgeon told us to go home, have our baby, and then come back and have open heart surgery. So that's what we did. So which baby was this? <laughs> this was Kate. That was this one. All right. Yes. Yeah. So we have a picture of us uh, before being diagnosed, yeah. completely unsuspecting. Yeah. And uh, this was right before Christmas. It was in December of 2010. Uh, and then we have, uh, <clears throat> so Kate was born and we have a picture of us right after she yeah. was born. And uh, that was, of course, uh, she was our first. And so that was a great experience and really exciting. Yeah. And then uh, right after that, I got to have open heart surgery. And so we have a picture of how I spent most of my recovery, which was uh, sitting on the couch, hanging out with baby Kate, because I couldn't pick her up, but I could sit on the couch and have her hand it to me. So Kate got spoiled okay. a little bit. She did. Yeah. Okay, so you just had open heart surgery. Um, I know that definitely um, kind of changed things. Explain to us, as a helicopter pilot, what does that mean for you? Uh, the surgery was a success and everything's fine now, but with that in my medical history, the FAA regulations don't allow me to be a commercial pilot. Okay. So once we figured that out, uh, I took some time reevaluating what I was interested in, what I had enjoyed in previous jobs, and uh, found that I was interested in uh, supply chain, transportation, logistics. So I uh, decided to come back and get my MBA and focus in that area. Great. So. Yeah, so did you like sit down with him and kind of throw out a few ideas or? You know, it's just really interesting knowing my husband who's this outdoorsy, rugged helicopter pilot and to have him say, you know, I think I'm interested in going back to business school. That was um, not what I was uh, preparing to hear, but it turned out to be a great experience and something that he's excelled in. So we're happy he made that decision. <laughs> That's great. And now that you're here, I understand, you know, you're very involved, Stein, and you are as well, Ashley. Do you want to tell us about that? Yes, I'm the secretary in the Ambassador Presidency, and that has been so much fun to transition from being a, you know, full-time um, mother, working mother, um, to, you know, backing off and not working as much and staying home more. That's, it was a huge transition for me, and so Ambassa um, was a great support for me to um, make that transition and you know the transition back into being graduate students and <laughs> yeah. you know all the things that that encompasses so it's been a great support system. Great and what are you headed to after school? I have a job with a company called Savage Services and they're uh, well known in the supply chain arena but not so much outside of it. 
uh, and they do transportation and logistics for the energy industry. And they're headquartered in Salt Lake, but they operate all over the country. And so we'll uh, have the chance to, to move around a little bit and see some different areas. And uh, we're excited about it. Great. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today on Marriott MBA Today. I hope you enjoyed getting to know the Ingbritson family and learning something new about a fellow student. We'll talk to you next time.